I think that right now one of the most exciting things about uh, teaching environmental history is the sense of interest, urgency and engagement that I detect from the students in my classes. And I don't think I've had a year where I've had more engaged students than I do this year. So let's look at this graph. My current project looks at uh, the social and the environmental impacts of hydroelectric development in this province. I got interested in these projects uh, mainly because I was interested in the period of history in which these projects first developed, in the 1950s and 1960s, which although in one, some ways is not a period that far removed from our own, is in other ways fundamentally different. And I think what, what interested me as, a his, as an historian is what accounted for what I guess now we would see as this kind of innocent optimism about humans' ability to improve their lives, to make the world better uh, through technology. There is very much a link between the conservation book uh, and the dam project. In States of Nature, which looked at the history of wildlife conservation in Canada over the 20th century, one of the main arguments that I made was that there was a fundamental shift in both environmental sensibility and in wildlife conservation, specifically after the Second World War. You see this incredible faith in science and technology to overcome uh, some of the limits of nature. Humans have seen themselves as outside of nature that uh, humans are not part of it, they're in the position of controlling it. And that dualism is responsible for uh, a lot of, of devastation.